So you beat Super Mario Odyssey, beat Bowser, saved the princess, now you got 500 power moons, and you unlock the darker side of the moon. Now you're stuck because it's really, really hard, and that's where I come in. I was live streaming this game today and found a really fast and easy way to skip some of the harder parts of the level. So I'm going to actually show you that, take you step by step and walk you through it. It's actually pretty easy, so let's take a look. Okay guys, here we are at the darker side of the moon, and first your challenge here is these Goombas. Now what I do is I just go ahead and skip these guys, you can just, you know, jump pat right past them, they really won't give you any trouble at all. And just go ahead and get up here, and this is where the fun really begins. Um, this first challenge is pretty much uh, mastering your uh, wall jumps here. These poles will quickly sink to the lava, so you gotta be pretty quick. And make sure when you're jumping left and right, you hold the stick left and right as soon as possible, or you will jump in the opposite direction. So you really are going to have to master your wall jumps here. And this challenge here, you just as soon as the pole comes up from the lava, you're going to want to jump instantly and continue to jump. Go ahead and continue to jump. And then this last jump here, you can throw your head midair, jump on it, and bypass that entire section. So a little pro tip there. It makes it a little bit easier. A lot of people tend to long jump in this section, but if you actually just pull off some you know, well-timed triple jumps, you can actually get through this fairly easy. I, I prefer this method over um, the long jumping method, so this is pretty easy enough. So if you're good at triple jumping, that should be no problem. Or you can try to do the long jump. And, you know, if you're missing a heart, go ahead and right there is a heart there. Here's your next challenge. You got to master, you know, doing these little fire hops here with these little fire dudes. And um, this is actually not that hard once you get the timing down. Um, as soon as the the bars go across the lava, you're gonna want to jump. You're gonna need a run and jump, so you want to make sure you're all the way back, and then to take a running jump. There you go, perfect. Oh, we got hit there, but no problem. I'll show you guys where there's a heart up here. There's a little hidden heart up here that a lot of people probably don't know about. Go ahead and jump in this cannon here, and we're off to the next section. This is actually pretty easy, I think. Go ahead and grab this guy. And all you gotta do is stretch your legs and jump. You just gotta time your jumps here. The only problem with this part is these little um, enemies here that try to get you. They can be a pain in the butt. But let's go ahead and I'll show you how to bypass um, those enemies up here. There's a cool little trick. Up here you can actually see more enemies will spawn and you can actually make them uh, you know, walk off the edge. And I'll show you here in a second once we get up here. Here they go, they just spawned. Just go ahead and jump up here, just stay up here and they're gonna try to attack you, they cannot get you. Just stand there, they will fall eventually. And there you go, now you don't have to worry about those guys no more. Now go ahead and wait for these to come up and I'll show you where this little secret heart is. Lift this platform all the way up, jump over here and now you wanna jump on that platform and there is a little secret heart up here if you're you know short on health, there we go, got our health back. These guys, you just wanna stretch your legs, go ahead and jump over them, you're good to go. It's easy enough as we go down here. Now this part that we're about to go to is a kind of tricky. You gotta kind of perform a, a tricky jump, but you still have three hit points, so even if you get hit, it's not really a big deal. We're gonna go ahead and try to get through this without getting hit though. Do a ground pound here, because if you stay in that water too long. Okay, let's go ahead and jump and throw our hat midair. Let's try it. Throw your hat midair, boom. We just went past those guys, so there you go. If you get hit there, no worries. I mean, you got three hits here, so. All right, wait for these guys, and we're going to grab Yoshi. This is the easiest section of the level here. In my personal opinion, all you got to do is stick your tongue out. Let's go ahead and stick your tongue out. You actually got to hold... Oh, there you go. See, if you don't hold in the Y button, you're actually going to get hit. But no worries. This is actually the easiest section of the game. Once you get to this part, you can stay to the left side. It's going to look like you're going to get hit up here, but don't worry. Just stay on the left, and you'll just you'll sneak by it. So that's pretty easy. That's probably the easiest part of the level, honestly. Now you can actually ditch Yoshi here. A lot of people might keep Yoshi, but if you're not good at triple jumps, you might want to keep Yoshi. But I like uh, triple jumping, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of him. And I'll show you what I mean up here in a second. There's going to be three blocks that you're going to have to perform a perfect triple jump to get by it. Um, if you don't want to do this, you can have Yoshi hover jump over these. But I don't know. I think it's pretty easy just to triple jump over these. Again, if you're not that good at triple jumps, just take Yoshi and you're fine. Go over here to the left, there'll be this statue here that will ask you a question since I've already done that. Um, we're going to get rewarded with this heart. If you're wondering what the answer is, it's uh, Mushroom Kingdom, it's not too hard. And we're on to the next section. 
this is actually not that hard of a, you know, here. The hardest part I had with this uh, entire level is this part coming up here. Um, I didn't really get the pattern down. You're probably going to die a few times until you get the pattern down, but if you watch this, um, just go ahead and you'll see the blocks moving out of the wall and you just got to keep your eye on it and use these rings as kind of like a guide. So you got to do perfect wall jumping here to get through this. Just go ahead and wall jump here. Use the rings as your guides. Those are the platforms you're going to have to be standing underneath. Wait for the wall to come out. Wall jump over here. Good to go. A couple more wall jumps and we'll be on our way. Now you got to be really fast here. If you make one mistake, you're pretty much screwed and we're good. There we go. Now this is probably the trickiest, uh, you know, if you actually want to try to do a speed run, you just, you know, you hold, you hold the button, you, you hold, you know, the button to glide, right? But you want to shake it as soon as you go. Shake the controller right here. If you shake it, perfect timing like I just did, shake the controller and just keep shaking it. And when I mean shaking it, you're shaking like, like crazy. Like you're shaking. If you're using Joy-Cons, you're using Pro Controller, you're shaking the controller like crazy at this point. And if you're lucky like me, you're going to skip like the entire section here. It's like crazy. Like you're, you're not, you're not even going to go down there. They want you to go down there. They want you to go down that pipe. They want you to go through this crazy hard section, but check this out. We're even going to pass the Bowser section. Look at this. We're going to go all the way up top here, pop out and we're on top and we're rewarded with these secret gold coins up here. We're getting rewarded for our skill right now. Guys, that's pretty much it. It's like over like this level is over. We're going to go ahead and go over here and this game is pretty much over now you just got to go over here to a little electric dude go up top and that is pretty much it guys um that's that's as easy as it gets i mean um now don't be fooled it's a little tricky to pull off the you might get um you might not get as far as i did when you're flying um you might get you know stopped where the bowser painting is but that's okay the bowser painting is not really that hard you don't have to fight bowser you just play as bowser and it's actually pretty fun so i actually recommend not even skipping that part but if you're doing a speed run and you actually want to skip it you can actually do this and actually you know as long as you got enough height you know you got to keep shaking you know i can't stress enough how hard it is you got to keep shaking the controller like crazy to keep that you know that altitude but there you go it says thank you you know for beating the game and that's it so that's pretty much it guys Hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was helpful. And uh, <laughs> actually, all we got to do is go up here and collect our uh, multi-moon. But that's pretty much all for right now, guys. And there'll be more to come shortly. Thanks again.